I open the chest. It's locked, but suddenly the door behind you slams shut and now the walls of the room start closing in. That's not good. My character and I both have claustrophobia. <laughs> Glowing letters appear on the chest that read, if squashed to death you wish not to be, sing of Svati Vaklav and his victory. What, who the hell is Svati Vaklav? Walls are getting closer. Oh boy, happy place, happy place. Wait, yeah, wait, if Svati Vaklav was the Duke of Bohemia. You're 10 seconds away from getting crushed. Nine. Eight, what are we supposed to do? Seven, six... Wait, wait, wait. Svati Vaklov is better known as Good King Wenceslas from the beloved Victorian Christmas Carol. Never heard of it. Must be the one Christmas song not written by a Jewish guy. <laughs> Three, two... Somebody sing the damn song! Good King Wenceslas looked out on the feast of Stephen <laughs> when the snow lay round about deep and crisp and even. The walls are getting slower. Brightly shone the moon that night, though the frost was cruel, when a poor man came inside, gathering winter fuel. The wall stop, you're safe. Well, that was amazing, children. How did you know that? Hey, it was simple. I combined a well-known historical fact about Bohemia with the memory of my grandparents, Mima and Pop Pop singing Christmas carols while I sat in front of the fire and tried to build a high-energy particle accelerator out of Legos. Okay, continuing our quest. Yeah, that way. There's still four more verses. You know, sing a song and not finish it. Hear the page and stand by me. If thou knowst it, telling yonder peasant, who is he? Where in what? His dwelling brightly shone the moon that night, though the frost was. Who now will bless the poor? Shall yourselves find blessing? Better bum. Done. I think the word you're looking for is bravo.